What's up, my dudes? MXGP 2021 has amazing graphics. We all knew about this. I mean, this is not any real big surprise. Uh, the graphics have been just getting better and better and better with these milestone games, even in the Supercross games. Um, this is just something that Milestone seems to have their biggest focus on. And I wanted to explain that, like, it's not a bad thing in itself that Milestone is making their graphics better and better and better. I mean, obviously, the better you make graphics in a game, it, it, ju it only adds to the game. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just all there really is to that. And, you know, graphics can definitely definitely add a certain amount to a game and a certain element to a game and all that kind of stuff is super you know it, it's it's definitely relevant in modern triple a gaming and all of that kind of stuff and, and you know it's awesome that milestone is advancing their graphics and they they just keep advancing it from you know supercross three to four mxgp you know, pro to 19 to 20 to 21. They're just, the graphics are just getting better and better and better. And that's awesome. There ain't nothing wrong with that in itself. And, you know, let me give my little claps over here for Milestone for doing that because that's a good thing. But here's my problem. Here's my problem with modern gaming Seems as if some of these companies get real caught up in, in the graphics. Uh, certainly, certainly when they start putting... It's like they put the graphics ahead of other elements of the game, right? Or just, you know, standard, like, uh, stability of the game and, you know, bugs in the game. Seems as if Milestone has done that with MXGP 2021. It's like they've, and especially MXGP 2020, you know, they focus so hard on making it like this, making these games like this next gen, you know, better graphics. And it seems like every other aspect of the MXGP games have been, have been put on the sideline in Milestone's attempt to try to make that next-gen better graphic game. And it's cool and all to have really good graphics in any kind of game, but when that becomes the, the developer's main goal is to make it like this eye candy, visually appealing, next-gen, you know, really good graphical game, but then it's bug-ridden, takes steps backwards gameplay-wise from its previous games. Uh, we still don't have any sort of patch notes on, on the, the first update of MXGP 2021. I can't find it anywhere for the PC version of MXGP 2021. <laughs> so apparently Milestone uh, has apparently went on their Christmas vacation already. I don't really know what the deal is with that. But um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to make this video to point out you know, yes, this is a positive element to the Milestone games is their graphics. It's always has been their biggest, you know, positive thing. But I guess with what I'm trying to explain in this video, I wish that that these MXGP games could get more like the Supercross games have gotten. You know, they've started to, with the Supercross games, they've started to expand that scaling a little bit, not be so focused on making it tiny, tight, one-to-one -one scaling, you know what I mean? They've started to make it more of a fun game. They've started to, you know, really open up that jump skill gap and all of that kind of stuff with the Supercross games and just that overall polish that they have, have have put into the Supercross games that doesn't really seem to carry over to the MXGP games, it, it's, it's kind of a... It's just a disappointment that you get such a good graphical AAA motocross game, but then it's lacking in so many other elements, content, major lacking element. You know, even the one singular free ride compound in MXGP 2021... It's just that same old standard woodland, the same stuff they've been doing with these free ride compounds forever. They're just they're not they're not breaking out of the box. They're not trying anything new. They're not really giving you really big new features. 
you know, b- big new things. Um, it seems like the the one and only thing that that continues to progress with these milestone games is the graphics. That's the unequivocal, un undeniable thing. You know that milestone sort of does, and it, it's. I think it's it's their it's their main crutch. It's their main crutch selling point, right? They know that if they just make those graphics as good as they can get them, even though it's a cool thing in motocross games, and don't get my words twisted, right? It's a cool thing to have really good graphics. It's become a crutch for Milestone. Let's just keep it real right now. They they think that their their amazing best graphics in a dirt bike game is going to be the sole thing that saves their their game. You understand what I'm saying? It's it, it, They're using it as a crutch in the sense of they look at it like, well, as long as it's got really good graphics, fuck, the game can be bug-ridden, have the same bugs that, you know, super old milestone games have, not even have as much physical terrain deformation as you had in MXGP3. You know, all of this kind of stuff they can do, but they 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 have this thought in their mind they're still going to sell copies that they can get away with it because the graphics are really good. And for the most part, that's pretty true. For the most part, you know, with AAA games, like as long as you got really good graphics, you can trick anybody. You know what I mean? You can you can fool and trick anybody into thinking that it's good, it's a better game or it's a good game because it's got really good graphics. You know, um, and my whole point is like. You can go back and look at these games like Reflex, MX Simulator, you know, certain games like that. And those have been some of the most lasting, decade plus lasting motocross games with communities around them and pro racing and and all of that kind of stuff. And, you know, those are not super graphical games. You know what I mean? Those are not... I mean, MX Simulator definitely isn't unless you get on some of the more, you know, 3D scan tracks and you got your graphics maxed out on 2K. You can get it looking pretty good on MX Sim, but for the most part, a lot of the custom tracks are kind of not as good graphical looking. And then certainly Reflex in today's age is not some graphical, you know, revolution or anything. It was it was plenty decent back in 2009 when it came out, but the point I'm trying to make is like, you know, Milestone is on this road where it's just better graphics, better graphics, better graphics, better graphics. And I think they're getting caught up in that. They're, they're getting caught up in that in the sense of, and I, I don't think this is as bad in the Supercross games as it is the MXGP games. Like I say, with, you know, Supercross 3 and 4, I feel like they've really started to advance that scaling, make the jumps feel bigger and actually fit into an arcade you know, games fun factor and all that. Like, just imagine if the, the MXGP 2021 actually had polished physics it didn't have all those bugs the speed of the game was slightly faster the scaling of the tracks you know they actually went in there and started opening up that scaling so the tracks felt somewhat different from the previous mxgp games instead of just going in there and throwing in a little bit of tiny pre-made roughness and uh making the inside ruts a little bit bigger you know at the end of the day the tracks still feel exactly the same and i think that's where the supercross games are really starting to pull away from these mile these mxgp games is because, you know, you get different layouts. They're starting to expand that scaling with the Supercross games. But I swear, it, the, the MXGP games have just not caught up. They're, they're not caught up, man. Um, they are graphically. That's the one thing about it. You know, you'll have that Supercross game that'll come out earlier in the year. And then you'll have that MXGP game that'll come out. And it looks like this amazing thing. You know, a lot of people, I think they get real tricked up. They see the graphics of the new MXGP game or whatever, and and Milestone's got their their tactics, you know, they got their tricks. They know people are not really super interested in these MXGP games at this point. I mean, we're on MXGP 69, you know, um, so it's like that. If they didn't have super, super amazing graphics to it, it, it wouldn't even pull you into it to begin with. You know what I mean? So. They're really, it seems like all of their time and effort is put into that. And my argument, I guess, at this point is like, 
you the graphics of MXGP 2020 or even 2019 are pretty good. Like they're they're well, you know, well in the range of acceptable for a AAA, you know, modern video game. My my kind of argument, I guess, I have for it is like, don't put so 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 much of your, you know, effort in and uh, you know resources and everything into trying to make those graphics better in a PS5 next gen MXGP game instead of that be- being your selling point. Why don't you put more of that time into your terrain deformation? You know, to actually have a physical terrain deformation system and a modern day motocross game you know it's probably something you want to have milestone uh you know take a little bit of that time away from the graphic advancement put it into the the track editor you know your motocross track editor that is completely bugged to shit in mxgp 2021 i did a live stream on that and i i mean we, i encountered literally like 10 different bugs in just a matter of five minutes in your track editor and the fact that you have no new module pieces no supercross module pieces no like roughness rut module pieces you know because it's a motocross game no 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 definitely still not doing any of that you see the problem here you see where their attention is all on those graphics man that's that's what it is and the, the milestone, certainly the MXGP fanboys, they don't want to admit that because they always got to try to find any little positive they can pull out of the game, but that's the real truth of it. All of their attention is on the graphics, and that's why you're not seeing the proper improvements to terrain deformation. You're not seeing the proper improvements to the scaling of the tracks, you know. Yes, they're making replica tracks, but the scaling can be different, okay? It's just like in the Supercross games. Like, a lot of the Supercross tracks in Supercross 1 were super tight, narrow, smaller, trying to be more one-to-one scaling. And, you know, they started. They have started to open that up more, and it's given you a lot more of that jump skill gap and, and fun factor and all that kind of stuff, um, especially with the ability to be able to pop off the bike somewhere on the track in Supercross 4 and, and 3. It, and even 2 had it a little bit, but Supercross 1, you didn't pop off the bike anywhere, no matter how much you overjumped or underjumped something, which is terrible. But um, nonetheless, yeah, I just, I, I really think they Milestone needs to rethink their shit, like, your graphics are plenty good in your MXGP games, man. They just are. Like, I want to see more of your effort put into making, expanding that track scaling. Like, and they they don't want to do that because you can't you can't use as much of that copy and pasting shit when you start expanding that track scaling because to expand the track scaling you have to make everything bigger you know so then you have to move the objects back from the track you've got to change where the objects are you've got to change where the positioning of everything is you got to reposition everything to make it look right you got to make the corners stretch more you've got to make the lanes longer you've got to make you know the jumps further distance wise more peakness to them you've got to do all of that shit And it's got to all work together to then have that same replica track that you would have had in MXGP 21 or or 20 or whatever. But everything's just bigger, more expanded, more room to work in the game and play the game and have fun in the game. But, you know, that's something that actually takes real work instead of just being able to take that same exact scaling you know, version of a track from MXGP 2020, bring it over, copy, literally copy and paste it over to MXGP 2021 and just add a little bit of pre-made roughness and add, you know, ramp up the pre-made ruts, you know, something that they did in MX versus ATV Untamed, okay, um, that's what, that's what Milestone is really doing with their track designs at this point, so, you know, it, it's, it's really sad to see it because, there's so much more potential for for what these milestone games could be, but they've gotten so caught up in the greed, and it's just, it's so obvious what they're doing. I don't know how some of you MX GP you know fanboys still can't come to this realization. Have you not thought for two seconds? Hmm, why does why does you know the graphics 
just keep getting better and better and better. Why is, why is Milestone coming out here talking about with MXGP 2020, it's going to be next gen and, you know, the first next gen MXGP game with better graphics and look at these graphics and, but yet your terrain deformation is still not as physical as it was in MXGP 3. Okay. Still bug ridden out the ass. <laughs> the whips are an absolute joke on MXGP 2021 with the bugs and everything like that. No real advancement to track scaling, you know, track editor. I mean, come on, guys. This is not hard to understand what's going on here. But the MXGP 2021 is a perfect example of some individuals will just defend anything. And they don't, they don't look at what's really going on. They don't take any of that into account. And it's very sad to see. But hopefully we can see some changes in the future. I don't know. I, th I think Milestones basically ran their MXGP series into the trash can at this point, and they're going to have to do something crazy amazing at, to, to get people back into it. And I mean the real amount of people back into it. Obviously, you're going to have still a certain number of people that are still going to buy the next MXGP game, no matter how shitty it is. They're still going to do it, you know. Um, certainly the particular YouTubers that that's all they really do and that's like their main game that they play you know they don't even really play much of the super crowd they're more of a mxgp game specific youtuber type person you know those are going to be the people that are still going to buy it regardless they're still gonna right but it, it's went in the trash can straight up as far as you've lost the the main public's interest in you know the mass you know, population, their engagement and interest into your MXGP series. That's what you've totally lost at this point. Um, so either way, man, nonetheless, I appreciate you guys watching all the videos. I just wanted to come in here and make this one and say, yeah, I mean, if all you're looking for is some next gen, you know, eye candy motocross game, sure, dude, go out there and buy these MXGP 2020 and 21. But like for the real motocross you know gaming gameplay fans and people that have seen these the history of what milestone has done with these mxgp games it's just not worth it anymore it's not worth it at this point and i get it you know they're doing a every year 2k you know madden style game but the, the difference I think that we have going on here between that is Milestone's actually making two motocross, two dirt bike racing games a year. They're not just making one game a year for that. They're making a Supercross game and a MXGP motocross game. There only needs to be one of those games every year at the most, at the most you know what I mean? And even still, I don't even think they should be doing that. But if they're going to do this, you know, Madden style game, it's like they're trying to do two different, two different Madden NBA 2K type style games every year. And we, we are seeing the result of that. It's, it's turned into a, a amazing graphical nightmare, you know. Uh, so either way, man, that's all I got to say to that. I'll see you boys on that next one. Later, dudes.